There we go, we're recording. Oh my word. Last night, all of the caterpillars except one went into their chrysalides, didn't they, Yannicka? And today we just were in that other room and the last one that's wriggling was turned so quickly. It was, wasn't he? It was very interesting. We came downstairs and four of them were chrysalides and one was just a caterpillar hanging upside down. And we went into the other room to see if Mrs. Taylor to write a letter for Mrs. Taylor, Yannicka's teacher, to see if she, if she wanted us to bring it into class so we could watch the last one change. We came back and this caterpillar was doing this. And that's the one that's wiggling. So we missed him throwing his cast, but at the moment he's wriggling away. I think he's trying to get his head off. I know, he's already got his, his head cast off, look. You can see it at the top, Yannicka. What he's doing, look, can you see all the goo coming out of his skin? Do you look at him? He's slowly going like a gooey brown colour, isn't he? And oh, smooth. maybe he's trying to get his tail in there. I think that is him spinning from the outside in. He's making the thingy nice and thick. And look at his cast hanging there at the top. Oh my word! Isn't that interesting, Yanni? His tail thing. Oh, there it goes. There's his cast gone. Glad we didn't miss that part. Oh. His tail fell off. So what we know now is when they're hanging upside down, the way they get rid of their last cast, their last cast is their head part, isn't it? Mm. The way they do that is they reach their head all the way round to the, top, the other end of them, the tail end, and then they stick it there somehow we and just pull back, pull we out of it. Just bring it into class and show it, but tell them how it changes. Mm -hmm. And we could have the caterpillar spare the rest of the day. And Miss Taylor could look after the caterpillars. And we could do the films of it. We'll see, because I'll speak to Mrs. Taylor. Okay. He's still heaving around in there, isn't he? Yeah. I wonder what he's doing. Or maybe I he's getting his goo hard. He's making lots and lots of goo. So he's making a nice big chrysalis for himself. So we haven't missed it. Strong one. Not really. We just can't see what's going on inside, which is a shame. But I think it was very cool that literally two minutes before we started recording, he was just hanging upside down like a normal caterpillar. I think he's done now. I might not be, so I'm going to leave the camera rolling. In fact, I'm going to try and set the camera up so it will stay like this while we go to Kids Club. So we don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. oh. Interesting. Mm. Hello, little caterpillars. I love you. Mm. They're all chrysalises now. Chrysalides. They are. Well, the one <laughs> is just a chrysalis, but lots, <laughs> even 100, are chrysalides. <laughs> That's right. I can't believe my eyes. Wow. That was almost like magic, wasn't it? Turned from a... Hangs an upside down caterpillar to a caterpillar. To a... Chrysalis. Yeah. 
Butterflies are alive. And then in two weeks' time, mm -hmm. there'll be butterflies. Yes. Two weeks. Two weeks. And we could bring it in when they're butterflies. And we could... Um, when my stick insects come out, we could bring them in their net. Yeah, you can show them at school as well. But we can, can't hang them upside down. No, I think they hang themselves upside down anyway. They, they like don't being upside them. down. We can't bring the whole tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yanni, look at it. Can you see the first one that crystallised? Yeah. It's all grey. This one. He's kind of grey, golden, isn't he? Golden. I think he's more of a, a brown than a grey. And he's gold. He's got little gold, shiny golden bits. Oh, I forgot to say that they got gold spots. Mm -hmm. Got gold spots. Oop, there he goes again. <laughs> now, on the camera, you can see shiny bits there along the back of this caterpillar. Those aren't light reflections, those are literally the little white spines that he used to have as a caterpillar showing through the chrysalis and they look golden. Little gold dots. I think the one that just turned is shiny. It's very shiny. Maybe he hasn't dried yet. His chrysalis hasn't. The chrysalis hasn't dried yet. Has it? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to wait a couple of days for their chrysalides to be nice and hard, and then we can put them into the net. Mm -hmm. Come on, mummy, let's go. Well, I'm scared of missing something. Just wait until the end of the film now. Shall we switch it off there then? Yes. Oh, there he goes. See, do you see? I don't want to miss anything. Let's go then. There's nothing interesting. There is interesting, look. Wiggling. There is lots, lots of wiggling going on. I think it's very interesting that they wiggle because them wiggling would make them very vulnerable. Do you know what vulnerable means? It means that their wiggling could put them in danger. Do you know why? Why? Well, what likes to eat caterpillars? Birds. Birds. Don't you think if they were hanging from a leaf, like they do in the wild, that, that would make the, the leaf wiggle? And do you think maybe a bird watching the leaf would notice them wiggling? So I think they're very vulnerable like this because they can't crawl away, but they have to wriggle. So they're in danger of a bird seeing them if they're in the wild like this. So if um, there we had a bet bird and it was inside, it could easily break into them. Ah, uh, they can't break into the jar at the moment. <coughs> yeah, they could put the sharp bit into there. No, they can't get through them. the plastic, Yanni, because that plastic's quite tough. Don't worry, our caterpillars are completely safe. But I am going to go check on the time. I'm just going to see the caterpillars. 